name is Chris Howe with Open EVSC. Today we are going to talk about electric vehicle charging stations and the signals that control them, the proximity signal and the pilot signal. Before we get started with this technical video, please subscribe to our channel. We're adding a lot of content uh, frequently and leave us your comments. Let us know what you'd like to hear about. The pilot signal is the main signal that tells the vehicle how much current is available at any given time. It also communicates the state of the station and the state of the vehicle. First we'll cover the possible states that the station can be in. They are the state A where there's not a vehicle connected and the station is ready. That'll be a, a solid 12 volt signal. The station can be in an error state and have a negative 12 volt signal or the station can be in a position where it's ready to provide power and the PWM signal is on. And this signal oscillates on and off. One other state is unknown where there's just nothing on the pilot line. Either the line is broken or maybe the station's powered off, but, but there's no signal at all. So let's look at the different signals that the station can generate itself. So here we have a test setup, and right now the station is ready and it's generating a solid 12 volts. We will go into the web interface of the advanced station and set a couple things. First, we're going to turn on the advanced mode, which will give us a lot more options to play with. And then the second thing we're going to do is go in under system, and we're going to turn on the developer mode. This is going to give us the ability to send raw commands directly to the controller. So what we'll do first is we'll come over here and we'll send a raw command to disable the station. This will put the station in an error state and the pilot will go down to negative 12. We'll go ahead and enable the station again and send that command. There's a little bit of a delay in the scope, so it'll take just a second for the scope to catch up. There we go. And then the last state we can be in is when the station is ready to provide power. It'll turn on the pilot signal, which oscillates between on and off. Right now we're set at 30 amps, which is 50% on, 50% off. The signal is 1000 hertz or one kilohertz. And the, uh, the duty cycle, the percentage on versus off, can change to represent how much current is allowed to flow. So if we go in and change from 30 amps to 6 amps, the time on will be much shorter than the time off. Now if we change to 80 amps, it'll be exactly the opposite. Now the update happens on the station instantaneously, but the, uh, the scope is lagging a little bit uh, because we're doing remote viewing over network. And there we go. So we'll change it back to 30 amps, which is 50% on, 50% off. And now we'll look at some of the different states uh, that are represented. So the first state uh, we saw in the beginning was nothing is connected to the station. It's just 12 volts. State B will be an EV connected. And there's actually two states here. Uh, it's either called the AB transition state or B1 and B2. So the first state is when you go to 9 volts, but the, the pilot signal is still at a 9 volt DC. This indicates that the station is not yet ready to provide power. When the station is ready to provide power, then the uh, PWM signal will be turned on. 
So we'll go ahead and demonstrate that. So we're going to go from the 12 volt state, but first we will set our station to pause so that the station is not ready to provide power at this time. We'll change an EV simulator for a vehicle to be plugged in, and now we have a 9 volt signal DC saying that the station is connected but it's not ready to provide power. Once we hit start, now the station is ready to provide power and the pilot signal will turn on. So now the next state is state C, which means that the vehicle is ready to charge. When that happens, the 9 volt signal will be dropped down to 6 volts and the vehicle will be able to charge. Now we can demonstrate another state which is ventilation required, that'll drop us down to uh, three volts. I have to disable the error check so that the station will allow this state. So now the signal should drop down to three volts and this would mean that ventilation is required to charge. This is a, a throwback from uh, lead acid batteries that would release hydrogen and could be flammable. Uh, it's not very common, but uh, we do lock out the station if this um, condition is encountered. And the last thing we can do is demonstrate uh, the diode check. This would be an air state as well. Uh, without the diode being present in the circuit, the pilot wave from the perspective of the station is going to be symmetrical for all of the different states. So the station is, is looking to make sure that that's not the case, because we want to make sure uh, that there really is an electric vehicle present. So those are the different states that the vehicle and station can be in. Next, we'll look at the duty cycle that we demonstrated a moment ago. The duty cycle is calculated in two different formulas. The first formula is for currents below 51 amps, and the second is for current above 51 amps. The 6 amp current will start out at 10% duty cycle. Anything below 10% is an error state, except for 5%, which means a digital communication is required. The 30 amp current is a 50% pilot, and 80 amp goes all the way up to 96. Uh, the table on the right will show many of the, the common currents and duty cycles. Proximity is a signal that is between the vehicle and the handle plug. It really isn't used at the charging station, uh, and it's, it's not needed to connect to the charging station at all. And what this does is it allows the vehicle to remove current when the button is pressed and the handle is likely to be unplugged. This provides a soft start and a soft stop. The way it works is there are two resistors in the handle. And when the button is pressed, the, uh, there is a bypass between R7 in the diagram. When the button is pressed, that bypass is no longer available and the current has to go through the second resistor. What this does is, from the vehicle's perspective, when nothing is plugged into it, uh, the voltage on the pin is 4.5 volts. When the button is pressed, the voltage will drop to 3 volts. And when the button is released, it goes down to 1.5 volts. This is how the vehicle knows if it's about to be unplugged. 